Thankfully, it's November, and Appalachian Wireless is offering the Samsung GS8 or the GS8 Plus for $100 off the regular price with two-year agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. The Pikeville Police Department is urging the public to report any suspicious activity. Officials make note that longtime residents are aware of their area and surrounding areas, and if they notice anything out of the ordinary, it's best to make it known to authorities. You know who your neighbors are, uh, you know what should be around you every day at your home. If you see something out of the ordinary or uh, something that uh, this does not look right to you, please don't hesitate to call us. Last night, the Pikeville Police Department made three arrests on Julius Avenue in Pikeville. According to police, while on foot patrol, officers heard something on a balcony of an abandoned home. Police allegedly knew the building was vacant and went to investigate. They discovered that there were three people in the residence, uh, two females and a male. And after making contact with them, they also discovered that they were in possession of what we believe to be methamphetamine. 42-year-old Randy Michelle Mullins and 32-year-old Joshua D. Rowe, both of Lookout, and 38-year-old LaShonda M. Reynolds of Herald were arrested and lodged in the Pike County Detention Center. All three were charged with third-degree criminal trespassing and possession of a controlled substance. I think they were taking an opportunity of a house that, you know, they knew were vacant. That would be a place that they could, uh, you know, uh, potentially hide and, and do what they wanted to do without being caught. Those calling to report suspicious activity or any other incidents may remain anonymous. In Pikeville, Shelby Porter, EKB News.